Oh, you can eat catfish, guys. I'm so excited. Six and a half hours later. Yeah. What was your name? Joel. Joel. Yeah. And you say you had a business card and all of that? Oh, uh, I can give you a card if you like. Sure. Yeah, sure. I don't mean it. Twelve seconds later. Well, just a two gentlemen come up. Um, I would highly suspect they are management or whatever. And uh, flashback. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. And so guys, I'm just, I'm in a bit of a rush, not gonna lie. So we're just gonna do an intro right from the table. Um, so I think this is a first actually. So today guys, we're at Risky's Barbecue. Yes, little Risky's Barbecue. You can see that logo right up in that corner in Fort Worth, Texas, guys. Now I was here before and I did their all you can eat beef ribs. You can check out that video. I'll link it down below. Literally, they have an all you can eat beef ribs for 15 bucks, 15 bucks. So now I've been also trying to find a time to get in to do their all you can eat catfish. Yes, all you can eat fried catfish. Now for about two years. So finally, after two years, we have made it here. Hopefully have enough time to really enjoy ourselves. Do some all you can eat catfish. I'm actually sitting almost in the exact table where I was before. Super cool. Um, so like I did last time, they set me up really, really well. They treated me really well. It's hopefully, fingers crossed, that is the same experience today. Um, I kind of explained like, hey, I was doing a video. I want the food quick. Um, you know, a little bit bigger portions would be great because I'm going to be eating the same amount whether I'm here for two hours or one hour. Um, so, fingers crossed, let's hope our server gets here momentarily and uh, let's get a rock and roll. All you can eat catfish guys, I'm so excited. Um, of course, we recently were noodling and caught some like, we caught hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of pounds of catfish. But now it's time for me to eat catfish. So with that, let's get eating. They hooked me up with the first, so it does come with a side. So I went with green beans. I figure I need some health in my life. We also got a pickled jalapeno, a couple onions, some of their tartar sauce. Also some of their cocktail sauce here. They offered that, I said, sure. Don't normally have cocktail sauce with um, my catfish, but nonetheless. But what I do have, and I do normally eat, is my ketchup and the hot sauce. So I'll ask if they have a Louisiana style. I like Tabasco, but I like Louisiana. And they, again, I explained it. They said they're gonna hook me up. They actually already got me up a second batch here. So we got the standard tray, and we got a good refill. So that's about that. So uh, let's get started, guys. I'm pumped. I like eat catfish. Like I said, we definitely got our money's worth last time. If this is only 17, 16, 16 bucks. All you can eat ribs is 15 bucks. And I think we ate, I don't remember how many. It was either like 20 some or 40. It was either 28 or like 40. I don't remember, but nonetheless, guys. So, oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So let's, uh, let's get going. Thank you. Well, guess what? That onion tasted like an onion. And that's not a bad thing. But here, let's try these green beans. Mmm. Ooh, that's rich. Really porky. Nicely seasoned. Not fat free. But very delicious. All right. And I'll try a pickle. And a jalapeno. Catfish, first bite. Looks great. And they do a chunk here. Most places do like a filet, this is a chunk. All good. Let's see what it's all about. Mm. So definitely light, flaky, white catfish. Tastes good. Good flavor. It's a pretty like light seasoning. Not that bad thing. I don't know if it's just like a cornmeal batter. And these are hush puppies. They do them in little sticks. So, cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We got the hookup today, guys. We're in good hands. So it's good eating. I think we're gonna eat quite a bit of catfish, let's be honest, but. It does taste real good. No complaints. I feel like I'm popping these like candy, you know? 
Tried the tartar sauce? Not a bad tartar sauce. Well, there's a, there's a flavor in there. Definitely get some like uh, like a pickle relish in there for sure. I'd say they make that here. It tastes like a really traditional kind of tartar sauce, which is like basically mayonnaise and relish. Not a bad thing. Guys, I'm excited to be doing this. This is my first all you can eat catfish. Normally I get cut off all you can eat fish and chips. And I've never done all you can eat catfish, so. I'm pumped to actually finally be doing this. Like I said, I've wanted to do this for two years. I found this out literally almost two years a day ago in 2020. Try a hush puppy. Maybe there's a little jalapeno in there. It's like fried cornmeal is what it is. Try this uh, cocktail sauce since it's here. Oh man. This one is hot. Mm. Hot fresh fish. Cocktail sauce is not a bad dish either. It's um, I mean, cocktail sauce is more or less like horseradish and ketchup. So the horseradish with the cabbage is an interesting flavor. But you know what I'm gonna do? In about a moment, I'm about to set up the ultimate ketchup and hot sauce plate. Actually, I'm gonna get started with hot sauce already. I love hot sauce on catfish. I'm just gonna drench it. Oh yeah. Let me know how you like to eat your catfish down below. Oh. This is where it's at. Hot catfish. With a hot sauce. Mm. That's the nice thing about catfish. I find it normally it's pretty lightly flavored, like lightly battered. And then it just takes on the flavor of like whatever you add to it and complements it. Very good. Double check, we had some more coming. I've been great with the timing though. This can be my official sauce plate. I'm gonna get some ketchup going there. And then, next round of catfish. Ooh, hot. Which is great, I mean, very fresh. Let's try with the ketchup and the hot sauce mix. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And shout out the portions. Look at this, guys. This is huge. That's a nice tray of catfish. And the nice thing is because it's coming out, I needed to cool off, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, this is delicious, but it's pretty hot. I don't really want to burn my mouth too much. Happened the other day. Oh, guys. Catfish, like, like fried catfish and iced tea. Can you get much better than that? Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Yeah, definitely some like dill and relish in that tartar sauce. You can kind of see it there. It is very rich though. Like a very, very rich tartar sauce. I'll try putting some lemon on the catfish. I know some people are all about that citrus on fish. I am, I'm only sometimes to be honest, so. It ain't bad. Honestly, cocktail sauce on um, on catfish. Never had it before, but it's it's good. I'm gonna use this bean dish as a hot sauce bowl.
I do like having the different sauces and flavors. Keeps it interesting. More catfish. Shout out to the tray of that though. Huge. Real good portion. And I even haven't I haven't even made the ketchup hot sauce mix yet. That's my favorite combo. I think some of these pieces actually have like a, I don't even see the difference, but I think there's actually a skin on some of these pieces. Yeah, like if you look in there, it's a little like gray. Not that it's a bad thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. Just something I noticed. I'm not used to seeing like a, it's either skin or a darker, um, some of the meat's just a little darker. I don't know which one. Just look at this, guys. Look at this beautiful, soft, moist, juicy catfish. I don't know if you can see that steaming, too. Guys, this has been two years in the making. Two years I've wanted to do this. I am excited. Definitely burn my mouth a little bit. A little excited, but nonetheless. Cool. Thank you so much. Quick question for you. Do you guys, uh, do you guys only have Tabasco or do you have like a Louisiana style hot sauce by yes. chance? You do? Oh, cool. It keeps getting better. I'm pumped. That's my jam right there, guys. That is my jam. I was about to make a ketchup pie with the Tabasco, but we're about to go to Louisiana. I mean, this is Louisiana made, but you know what I'm saying. The more other called Louisiana traditional style sauce, so pumped. Good Amazing. Stuff. Cool, thank you so much. Cajun Chef. I've never had this brand, but she says it's the good stuff, so I believe it. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm actually heading to Louisiana tonight to go fishing and have fun, which like I barely ever do. I use like, you know, so I'm pumped. Let's try this with the Louisiana style. Just drench that catfish. It's good. I've never had this brand before. There's definitely a, a different, a little bit different flavor to it. But yeah, it's quite comparable to the Louisiana brand. My favorite, I think is a crystal. Let me know your favorite hot sauce down below. Let's mix that up, make our ketchup hot sauce mix. Okay, that is amazing. Oh, so good. Straight money, ketchup and hot sauce. Mm. So good. Something about tea and like catfish and hot sauce and ketchup, it just excites me. Luckily, got another round. Definitely feels hot, which means it's fresh, and I'm okay with that. That's a nice thing. So this is like a, uh, both, both their all-you-can-eats are a two-order. It's not like a buffet style. So it's an all-you-can-eat order. So, you know, you're done. 
then you ask for another round, et cetera, et cetera. So the nice thing with that is it's always fresh. Food is made to order as per your request. It's not sitting around, you know what I'm saying? So good. We're gonna go through like a bottle of hot sauce, bottle of ketchup here. Tartar sauce and ketchup is also a very good combination. I'll try some tartar sauce and hot sauce here. Very delicious. And I'll try the tartar sauce and the ketchup mix. The best of, it's not even just both worlds, it's the best of all the worlds. Amazing. I definitely burnt my tongue on some of the last ones. So we got a new order, but these are piping, piping hot. So I'm gonna just cool down for a couple minutes because if I get into it, I'm not gonna stop. This has been amazing so far. So I'm gonna let this cool down for a sec and uh, we're gonna keep on catfishing. All right, so it's cooled off a bit. I think it's probably, let's see, good to eat, safe to eat, whatever you wanna call it. Hopefully my camera is focusing right. I have a little bit of a different setting. a little hot the way these chunks actually i think it's because they're like thicker not like a fillet like a flat they um they keep their heat real well actually which again not a bad thing that was another good combo cocktail sauce and hot sauce i've never had that before with the cocktail sauce, because you get the sweetness, kind of like that ketchup. But you get a bite of that horseradish, and then the, the zing of the hot sauce. That hot sauce also brings out some black pepper in that cocktail sauce. Tastes good. I ain't complaining about that. About halfway through the bottle. Not quite, but almost. Next round, a little smaller tray than some. Piping hot. So again, I'll have to just cool down a little bit. We'll be back here momentarily. So these have cooled off. <coughs> Excuse me. So catfish. And actually we've already got a refill here. So well, the nice thing though is how these can cool off while we eat these ones. It's like I said, delicious, but hot. And like, I don't know like, you know, the exact amount we're getting on each, you know, plate. But like it's a bit, I would say like, I, I don't think there's any way this is less than a pound of fish per. Some of them I'd say like the one or two we had were massive. I would bet it was like two pounds of fish. This could honestly even be like more than a pound. I'm just saying it's at least a pound. Man, that is good. But yeah. Definitely have burnt my mouth, so definitely good to, uh, you know, let it cool a bit. Thanks, my friend. Oh, absolutely. We've got another tray. And we got lots here. So better uh, dig into this.
Only in Texas will they hook you up like this. Definitely starting to fill up a bit. There ain't no lying about that and no doubt about that either. We eating a lot of fish. I was trying to see how hot it was this hot. This one may be okay. I have two here. Still pretty hot, as you get, I should probably let it cool. So yeah, I went noodling. Which is where you catch fish with your hands. And I legit caught a couple like 45 to 50 pound fish, which was awesome. I didn't even get half it on camera, which was unfortunate. I was at a GoPro, but the GoPro battery was super weak. But man, noodling was super, super cool. And um, adrenaline rush noodling, guys, in Shawnee, Oklahoma, basically right outside of Oklahoma City. Nathan and them, they are professionals. They know what they're doing. We caught 17 fish in the one day. So, if you ever wanna try noodling, I would 10 out of 10 recommend Nathan and his family. They are crazy skilled, and I had a blast because of them, so. Just being honest, shout them out, they deserve it. No shortage of fish, I'll tell you that much. Definitely filling up. Plus we probably had like 10 grams of sodium so far. I will have my fill of catfish for a long time, I'll put it that way. Let me know if you think the kitchen is sick of me yet. Give me a comment down below. We're getting catfished out here, guys. This is intense. Ugh. Thank you. Sadly, yes. I love that smile. It's my favorite. Well, I literally consumed a whole bottle, so <laughs> I appreciate it. One bottle of hot sauce later, not to mention how much Tabasco and ketchup. Uh, I'm starting to heat up. I'm getting to the, I've never heard of the fish sweats, but if the fish sweats are a thing, that's what's happening. So what's happened to us. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, guys, catfish. I better let these cool down a bit. Again, I'm burning myself, but we're not gonna be having too many more orders at this point. Love we'll this one. I could probably do a couple more, but we have gotten our fill. We have gotten our fill. No complaints on that, so. But hey, we'll see how many more we can do. Catfish, catfish. But these are probably cool off enough that I can at least eat them, I think. <laughs> and then we got one more basket here. And now, again, so these are piping, piping hot. We'll let those cool down. Starting these ones, obviously. 
Now I did um, ask that, let me get through these first and then I'll see how I feel. Uh, so yeah, so, so let's get through these, let's see how I feel, we've already eaten a lot. They, I, was talking, I had a, a conversation with the, the, the server and she's like, I have never seen anybody eat that much catfish. And I was like, I told you I was gonna eat a lot, so like I said, we've had our fair share and a fair share of everything, sauces and whatever, so, woo. Like I said, I can definitely get through this, but I don't, like my, my mouth is burnt and it's probably also like kind of the abrasiveness, you know what I mean, from that cornmeal, probably just a little scraped up too, so. Delicious, thoroughly enjoying it. It's been awesome. But we gotta slow down at some point. We can't eat all the catfish. We can't dry up the whole Mississippi River, you know what I'm saying? Well, thank you so much. Woo! But we'll start with this, go from there, and I don't know, maybe some ice cream or dessert or something. Could be. Ice cream sounds pretty good right now. Mm. Man, that is still so good, but. Something cold and sweet and not salty would probably be a pretty good, uh, pretty like welcoming thing. I mean, don't around this iced tea is delicious. I've been drinking the crap out of it. I bet I've had six or eight of those. Let's just cool off again. These ought to be the last ones or the second last ones. Got a lot of catfish, that's for sure. But I read about the, I read the history about Risky. It's pretty cool actually. It's um, the, the, the restaurant, like Risky's has almost been in business for a hundred years, for about a hundred years. And uh, I mean, now they have like, kept low, like at least six plus locations all over the place from barbecue to burgers to steakhouses, but pretty cool uh, history. They started in Fort Worth here and still all in Fort Worth, so. Ooh. So let's cool off and eat some more fish. Yeah? What was your name? Joel. Joel. Yeah. And you say you had a business card and all of that? Oh, uh, I can give you a card if you like. Sure. 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 I don't mean That was pretty cool. I just had two gentlemen come up. Um, I would highly suspect they are management or whatever and just kind of like inquired about what I was doing and told me that uh, if I keep, uh, I can keep eating and they'll keep it coming. So that's, that's cool. Guys, Texas, I love Texas. This is why I love Texas. Like I said, the Risky's here guys, they treated me real well last time. They treated me real, here, you know, here really good this time. So pretty cool. But I have this one and I have this one here. And I think that's gonna be it. Like I said, it's been a, it's been a, been a lot of catfish, but it's been, it's been good. Just a lot of catfish, so definitely, like I said, I could use some ice cream or dessert or something. Uh, good thing a good thing I only got one more guys. I'm I'm dying. Dying. 
3% left on this battery. I think my other one has some charge, so I think we should be good. So, finish this up. I gotta say, if it really is all you can eat, it really is all you can eat. Woo! Oh. Whew. You ever have it where your eyes are bigger than your, you know, your stomach is? I'm having that right now. And yes, again, I guess, I guess then you could make some joke about my eyes being really, really, really big. But you know what I'm saying. If you ever had that opportunity, let me know down below. Or that experience. Ugh. I'll double check how long I've been eating for too. We've pretty much been eating catfish straight for an hour and a half. Literally. So that's like cooling breaks, straight eating. If anybody happened to count how many iced teas I have, I would love to know that too. Hi everybody, last piece. Like I said, my battery is on blinking, so I'll just say goodbye now. Guys, huge thank you here at Risky's. Awesome food, awesome staff, they treat me so well. We've ate so much food, we got more than our money's worth. So shout them out for honoring the all you can eat. And super affordable. The ribs, the beef ribs are good, this was good, and like I said, where else, like, 15, 16 bucks. That, that buys you basically McDonald's nowadays. So, huge thanks over here, guys. Appreciate you. Ugh. I've had enough fish for a while. That's for sure. But at that, until next time, everybody. I appreciate you. If you like this video, let me know down below. Comment, subscribe. Always appreciate that. And that, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Don't do what I do. Try the all you can eat, but have like one plate. And have a lot of that. I appreciate you guys. So that, until next time, au revoir. All right, and last thing real quick, everybody, look at this. Look at this receipt. That is the refills. That is nuts and absolutely hilarious. Like, this needs to be framed. How many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. About 45. That's amazing. Thanks to Risky's guys. That's just, that's just, it's hilarious. Don't do what I do. Eat normally.
What is going on everybody? Hopefully this is working where you're uh, GoPro in this up. I don't usually have a GoPro because I'm not usually out in the middle of nowhere. Literally, I am out in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma at honestly what is a secret location. Here about to do something I've wanted to do for years. One of my like lifelong bucket lists, we're going noodling. If you're not familiar with noodling is, this is also called like grabbing, hand fishing, this is where you catch giant catfish. Some of these things are 50, 60, upwards of 80 pounds. And you catch these fish with your bare hands. This was literally a concept of the famous show, Hillbilly Hand Fishing. And I am here with what is an absolute legend back here, Mr. Nate Williams. Nate himself has actually caught an 85 pound fish before. 85 pounds, it's like a human. Like these things can be like as tall and as long as you are. So we're going to catch some catfish maybe later we're gonna be eating some catfish but i'm so excited to finally be doing this again i've wanted to do this for years i hope i don't die there are risks you can lose your fingers you can get bitten by poisonous snakes you can get attacked by beavers so let's go uh see what this is all about let's go noodle and let's go catch us a fish so literally heading down through the bush into again what is a very secret spot down we here. We also have Nate's helpers, which are also like, how old are our helpers today, Nate? 11 and 13. Who are 11 and 13. And both of them have caught, and, uh, caught fish, which are 50 some pounds. So there we go. And we're heading into the water right away. And furthering on the journey, wading through the water up a creek to catch a catfish and here we got some bones actually so somebody was uh eaten alive here so you can tell we're in the rustic wilderness so we've been trekking in the woods for quite a while now there's uh, quite a bit of uh, like i guess uh, native american arrowheads and they have found some daggers and knives here so it's pretty cool to think that those things have been there for thousands and thousands of years and how little that this you know path these creeks these areas have been trafficked to them still be here after you know sometimes like six thousand years um but yeah so this is apparently about four mile creek so the we are well walking through it it's been a while so we'll have a a good hour or two of, of walking i guess and then we get to the deeper part of the creek where we have the higher likelihood of getting to the fish um because right now i mean it's crazy to think that you could get you know a 50 pound fish in a creek that is like you know up to my my shin's being generous, so anyway, pretty cool. We're checking out every hole with a stick, and that's it. So, what's crazy is our helpers here are literally just shoving their hands in any holes they find. And this guy, you just found a turtle, mm -hmm. and I think we found another one up there. These, I gotta say, you guys are you guys are brave, they're just taking their hands in any hole they see and shoving it in there. Super cool. They're pretty, uh, he's pretty, I mean, not that he could really run much, but he's pretty docile. Looks like a red ear slider. Yep. Covered in mud. Yeah. Who's this bigger? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Goodbye, oh. turtle. I used to have a turtle. You used to have so a turtle. Did, did you? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh. His name was Timmy. Timmy. Cool. Well, goodbye, turtles. And you never know what you're going to find. Here's actually a crawfish shell or molted shell. But one of our helpers here, who's 11 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me again, when did you catch your first catfish? When did you first start noodling? When I, I caught my first fish when I was three. Three? Mm -hmm. Three years old, this gentleman here mm -hmm. caught himself a fish. How big was the fish? Uh, easy, a little 20, 15 pounds. 20, 15 pounds, wow. Well, I tell you what, you probably weighed almost that much when you were three yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned, just as we were walking by, you were just like, oh, hey, I smell a snake. 
I gotta say, my friend, you are in tune with nature. Little snakes, when like, they don't want you around, they'll cut off like a musky, beavery smell, like yeah. this bad smell. And sometimes that smell is just, you know, they're just sniffing around. That's pretty cool. And uh, what a beautiful day, I mean. <laughs> We've been walking for a while, and uh, I gotta say, gorgeous, gorgeous scenery out here. This is what's awesome. There's a fish. There's a fish. So look at this. <laughs> this, this is a, this, this, our friend here has his legs stuck in a hole behind him. And he's like, oh, it's a thin hole. Oh, there's a fish. Man, I gotta, you're, I gotta say, you got, you got the right assistance. <laughs> That's crazy. Literally just, I go shove my leg or arm in a hole. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. Holy crap, look at that. Come on. Yeah, holy. Strong little fish though. Nice. Well, look at that. There's all kinds of fish. And here we have two gentlemen underwater in this really deep puddle feeling for, uh, feeling for fish. All right, we got ourselves, uh, got ourselves a fish. Mike came out. He was biting, uh, biting was Nathan's, to get bit. Oh, sure biting Nathan's foot. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, he just bumped me. <laughs> it's funny you hear him. Mm -hmm. And he bumped me. <laughs> I think he, I think he went behind me to be honest with you guys, but he, uh, did he? <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, we got a fish this way. You see him? Uh -huh. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, I see him. He is a, that's a big fish. <laughs> Guys, I think you can see him, but he's right here. He is giant. Man, good cat, what do you, what, what do you do, just like? Like grab him? So you want me, you want come me? around this side of me and, and sneak in on your chest. You want to try to be pretty flat. Try to be flat. Okay. On these ones that are in open water. And if he tries to run, don't try to like grab. Just let him try to run under you and get himself beached or stuck on you. Yeah. So I'm assuming his head is right here. His head's right there. Should I try to grab his head? Yeah. So yep. Gotta lay down first. Okay. Our heads are right under you. So there's like a stick here, but should I try to navigate under here? Mm -hmm. right reach there. your arms by it or whatever. Right there. <laughs> Do I lose it? Should I like go slow or just a quick grab? Pretty slow, but once you start feeling him and like you can tell where his face is, try to get in there quickly, but not like frantically or you'll scare him. And I'm trying to grab in his mouth? Yeah. yeah. If so you I slide down his head towards where you think his mouth is, their bottom lip sticks out about an inch farther, so you like kind of almost percent. fall right down on it sometimes. Okay, so I definitely see like his dorsal fin. Yeah, right in front of you. Where do you think his head is? Just right. keep inching Just forward. Put your head, hand on your honest <laughs> oh, head. He's oh, moving back. he's moving a little bit back. Should I keep going? Yeah. Just let your oh, animal. I feel <laughs> Get through? I don't think. <laughs> yep, you got it. <laughs> oh, man. That is a fish right there. Yeah, it was, oh no. That is just down. Yeah. I'll take your GoPro for you. Look at that. Here we go. That is a big fish. Don't let him roll on your wrist. You're going to put him in a headlock real quick and squeeze him. Put him in a headlock? Yeah, your other hand, put it around his body and squeeze him on your arm. Hey. Like this? Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. Man. <laughs> it's a huge fish. Man, what a jaw they have. Yeah. This thing is like a piece. Is it a bone in there? Yeah. Man. Big suitcase handle. Jeez. Came around. Wow. What do you think this guy, <laughs> this guy weighs? Look at that. Looks like a 45. <laughs> really? That's a big fish. Yeah. Try to make sure he doesn't hit me in between the legs. Yep. Man, that is a, what kind of catfish is that? Flathead. A flathead. Main kind we're looking for. <laughs> That's cool. So he's just here chilling in this hole. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can grab him however you want, nice to like calm down a little. And we just worked him out. Man, look at that, eh? 
That's cool. <laughs> Would you be able to take a, uh, I'll have to get a photo with yeah, this. Show him how to hold it first real quick. Hi. Yeah, you want to hold the fish? Yeah. Show me, show me how the pros do it. Ew. I'll make it look big. Hold it by the... Just hurry up, Pierce. You just put it on the shoulder like this. Okay. Pull it hurry down up. Alright everybody, we, we caught our first fish. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I mean, this thing is huge. It said about 40 pounds. It's a piece of work. So here we go, we got something neat today. <laughs> All right. Goodbye to our fishing friend. Goodbye my fish friend, you smell like a fish. So we just let him go? Yeah. All right, back to, back to, back to nature. I'll eat your friends. That's a, that's a big fish. <laughs> that was cool. I'm a little slimy from, <laughs> that's amazing. We got one. Let's see if we can get some more. Here we are. Back to the fish. There's one right here. You can see him there. He's a light color. Light color fish. Is that another flathead? Yeah, flathead. Oh, here you can see him. Because the water is real clear. Let's see. So do you just like what lie lie down and try to work in them again? Here, here, What should I do, guys? Just lay down. Lay down. Do you want to try to come on his head, and if he starts moving, want to hold that too. You want to get your hands out like this so he like hits into one of the funnels towards your chest. Okay. If he doesn't move, then try to grab him, you know, like you did try to get him in his mouth. Like Just try to literally grab in his mouth, right? Yeah. If you set your hand like right between his eyes for a second and slide backwards, you can usually fall into that mouth. GoPro 8's yeah. better than the 7. Mm -hmm. Let him around you that way. He's trying to go that way. I know. He's right here. He's up there by mm -hmm. your feet. Right here. You're pretty kitty. That's fish. Yeah. Should I grab like quick? Yeah. Cut him off. Mostly don't even worry about getting in his mouth. Just try to get him trapped under you or something. And then after you get him stopped moving, then grab it. Oh. Okay. That makes me more sense. So just grab him? Yeah, good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is crazy. You guys okay? Yeah. I know we hit you there. That is quite the fish. Yeah, this guy's a little, little more fight than the other guy. Actually, let's see what grab him. Do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like this. Guys, I got a fish. Mm -hmm. That's another 35 pounder or so. It's pretty big. Yeah, he's almost as big as the other one. He's a little bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. They're actually like quite pretty. They are. Smells like fish, but <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I, uh, no, but definitely there's a knack to that. So what? What? How would you? You just normally grab them like on top, like kind of or like just smash in front of their face, kind of like And you just kind of grab, grab his head, kind of thing. You just get in front of his face, and he just will not be able to swim. Okay. And he'll just like run into you. Okay. Like and that's when you grab. Then then so after you stop him from going forward, put put some like weight on him, get a hand on the back. Like you gotta at least if, you, if he's going away from you, try to get something to block him. Yeah. And if you get flat, usually they'll run into you. And then you know, get him turned down towards your body, and you basically just want to funnel him in like this. And then after he gets stuck, and grab him. Okay. All right, well, here you go, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, do you know the fish pose? Hopefully, this guy, okay. this guy definitely has more fight. Let's see the smack on his head. Everybody, and this is a catfish. Cool. You can see his gills in there. They're, they're actually red. 
But uh, man, this they, I say they got some fight. It's like a sandpaper mouth. This is definite. Like their jaw is a hundred percent bone, though. That's for sure. But it's crazy just how big this fish is. It's super, super, super cool. I'm impressed. You know, here we go. We got another uh, another keeper. And Nate, you figure what you got like about twenty pounds of meat off that or so? Oh yeah, a lot of meat. Like just look at that. Do you hold him for a sec? Sure. Right, you got him? Got a bit of kick to him. Got him? Mm -hmm. I got my finger. There you go. Which I mean, pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a big fish. That's so cool. Get some water off the lens there. Just look at that, everybody. Super, super cool. Yeah, hey, that's, a, that's it's almost as long as you are. Mm -hmm. One bag up here. Yeah. I like it. Good job. Nice. Can I hold him like that real quick? Yeah. Nice. Can you uh, get a little video clip of that? I'm oh, sorry, you're recording. I just want to lift him up. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Look at this thing. We got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What a big fish. Yeah. Woo. That's a river monster right there. It's so cool. Catfishing by hand. All right, well, what do you guys say we let him go? Mm -hmm. All right, goodbye, buddy. Enjoy your hole. There we go. See you, buddy. Swimming off. Covered in catfish juice and slime. <laughs> All right, we got the fish again. There it is. Yeah, I don't think he's big it past us. And the narrows. Yeah, oh my God. Go around and cut them off, Lisa. Yeah, it's mm. so There's a frog. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> 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 see him? Oh, is on my on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I body tackled the fish. I can't say I've ever done that before. That's pretty cool. There you go guys, front, front row view of the catfish. We get some cuts on them. He's been fighting or something. Hopefully I got that on video. You know what I think I did? That's awesome. This is a little smaller, yeah? I got 20 pounds. Crazy. It's a little sizable fish though. Not bad. Cool. Yeah, they're uh, definitely, definitely pretty cool. Yeah, they look like, look like mud. Yeah, they is a pretty fish. It's so cool that uh, I like how when they're here, like in the water, you can just see them. Like, there's no, you know, unless you, until you murk up the water, you get this great big fish like that. Super cool. Cool, guys. Look at all, look at all, look at all this, look at all this meat. Look at all this meat. Are you edible fish? I don't know guys, I'm getting pretty tempted to keep one of these, have to eat them. Looking mighty tasty. It's a heck of a feast right there. That's a food challenge in itself. Mm -hmm. Did you eat the whole thing? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a lot of food. Yeah, I appear to think that's it. Cool guys. Yeah, it's cool. That's a, that's a nice little like trophy fish. Yeah. I wish I lived here. I'd be like, hey guys, look, I have fish for a millennia. Yeah. We could have like a hundred pounds of that fish today. Yeah. Super cool. All right, buddy. Well, until next time, fish. Nice seeing you. 
You guys want any photos or film or anything? You guys probably see a thousand of these guys, right? I don't know. Like I said, you're looking pretty tasty, buddy. Maybe I'll I'll come back for you another day and eat you. Until then, have fun. Oh, cool. No shortage. All right, here's the better view. Let's see if we can find this. We got another fish here somewhere. So you guys just basically feel around with your feet and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that you, Pierre? Yeah. That is? Yeah. Okay. He's got to be back over there by Pierre. Oh. Unless we went way around you, somewhere on the other side. And if, if not, if you make sure he's not over there, then we'll go the other way and go Yeah, he's definitely more experts, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's right there. Yep. Yes, he's right there. Apparently he's here somewhere. Where'd he go, Because as soon as I was in this hole, spam! Hit me. He's under my legs and... I'll catch him. I thought you just said he was under your leg. Yeah, he was. He was right there where you're at. You're right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, he was going down towards my toes. And I don't know if he went left or right there. Mm. Alright, let's get our... That one was as big as one can be. Feet in the... I can't be just there. Get our feet under the log here. That's you, right? No. So you're going to get some more? Yeah, I'll get some more. I'll get some more. I'll get some more. You're going to get some more. What? You're going to get some more. You're going to get some more. You never know. I say, me, you, and Pierce, we all three get right here. And we push that way. We'd want to push them that way. Would we? I'm yeah, not here, Dad. Oh. That's me. Go check back here if you can make sure you can do that. not in here just like Oh, what was that? I heard it, but I don't know where it came from. I heard it too. Here in fish stumps. I think that's a different one. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Oh, yeah, look, here's a fish. That's a different one. This one's a bigger one. Yeah. So I gotta try to so the key in my thing is I just gotta try to like you should try to like, pin them, right? Yeah, pin them down and running. And then try to grab him. He's coming. <laughs> I don't know if the GoPro caught, but I just, again, body tackled the fish. Man, this is hilarious. Woo! <laughs> oh, there's that death ball you guys are talking about. Oh. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> there you go. I can now say I caught a fish. Woo! Nuts, guys. Oh. There's another one in here. There you go, Pro. Look at that. Is it another one? Yeah, I'm this hole. Woo! Oh, man. Guys, that was crazy. Yeah. Look at this. We don't have to get the picture yet. I'm going to I'll put him somewhere. We're going to get a picture. We're going to put him somewhere. Yeah, we're going to get a picture. Of cool. so cool. <laughs> I like it. She's like, I'm just going to put him somewhere. Oh, yeah, that guy got my wrist. You're right about that. All right. So this is a fish in a hole? Mm. <laughs> is that a puddle? Mm. Yeah. Alright, what do I do here? Lay, you're gonna have to lay down and get your chest down in the bottom because they always like to try to blow out and then just reach both arms in there and see if you can feel him. Okay. If you can't feel him, then you might have to like turn kind of on your side and reach. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna pick up hold it. Can I, uh, mm -hmm. sure, can I give you this? Yeah. Hold that for me. Okay. Alright. You got on the ch chest on the bottom? Mm hmm. And then you just want to like open until I grab his face, drag him to the, to the edge of the hole. 
and then like get a better hold with two hands before you actually bring him all the way out. Will he bite me? Probably not. He didn't bite me. Just... You said two arms in? If you can, or if, if you can reach him that way. But if you need extra reach, you might have to pull one out to kind of stretch. Yeah, I can't reach you. Okay. So you might just get try to get oh. one and drag him towards you, and then you're going to get close to the edge. Oh, it bit me. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Not feeling yet? Oh. oh. Um. I might have felt something on the head of the back of my arm. Is it possibly got oh oh in the side? No, that's your stick. Uh I don't know, I don't feel it. Mm-hmm. It was just right past that, you're not feeling. Oh. Oh, oh he's oh, right he here. Of... He's right here. Oh, it's, no, it's you. right. He's by my oh. legs. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's right here, he's right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah, he's right here. Down? Here, here, he's sort of coming down. Oh, yeah. He's just a little guy. Yeah. Okay, I got him. Okay, pull him up. There we go. Little catfish. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Nice. Good job. Uh, oh, what? Four, four, four or five pounds? Yeah. Yeah, that's still not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This guy, fit, this guy compared to the other guys would fit in your pocket. Usually not that big of a difference in size between them, but some, <coughs> sometimes you find them. Could be mates. I love how you guys are just like casually like, hey, here's some like, <coughs> here's some big huge fish. <laughs> that's so cool. Definitely cool. And look at this. Yes, that is a hand sticking out of the dirt. I guess I'll pull it. I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> that is just horrifying. I don't even want to know. Well, somebody's voodoo doll is out here in the woods. Yeah, Talk to me to go, All right. Here we got two fish. One out here, one over here. Let's see if we can get in beside this guy. Don't let him bite, fish. Stay down. Don't want him down. I need to put him by the rock. You don't want to come over here and help? I can handle it. I think I can, but he knows about you. He is probably going to let him bite. Yeah, I <laughs> I had him, but I lost him. Here he is over here. Let's try again. Woo! He did that little death roll thing. <laughs> I can see why this is a you know, where What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Here you go, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you can do this now. So let's get a... Pull him on the back and I'll grab his mouth. Oh, this guy's a fighter. Woo! Cool stuff. There we go. Another fish, everybody. 
<laughs> they got one more over here. Let's go see what the let's go see what they're doing. Ooh, another tapper. Cool. This is fun. They, they fight each other. It's all bloodied up. Oh. Oh. Alright, we're going down to Park Park Park. And there we go, we got another fish. The pro got pro got this one. Now Nate, what the what's up with his back? It's all colored and stuff. Is that scrapes? Yeah, that looks like bite marks from a bigger fish, probably. Crazy. Big fish can bit him like that. Now this guy was in under this rock. It was pretty hard. It was like reaching from the top and from the bottom. Nate, of course, the pro, he definitely grabbed that there, but looking good, man. Alright, everyone, so that's all the footage I had. Again, this was not my GoPro, and I am really glad because I was not a fan. But guys, we caught literally 17 fish this day. It was, I think, a record for this year they ever had, or maybe an all-time record. It was nuts, and honestly, I didn't even get footage of like the really fun catches. So the first catches here, like it was kind of trying to understand uh, for myself, like how to actually grab these fish. But anyway, it was like very shortly after this, I kind of realized, uh, you know, watching them catch a couple, you know, kind of how to do it, and that like literally. By the end of it I'm talking like running into a stream there's like a 50 pound fish and literally like full-on body tackling this thing like Steve Irwin jumping on a freaking crocodile like wrestling this thing underwater like this was amazing I had so much fun like to this point but then really the points of which like afterwards to follow when the GoPro battery unfortunately was already dead were like the best, the absolute best and coolest thing I've ever done. So yeah, just noodling is hilarious. It is so cool. It is an amazing, like I loved it. And now that I kind of know how to do it, I'll have to do it again. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to see that down below. Maybe we'll do another video at some point. But like I said, by far the coolest thing. And uh, unfortunately I didn't even get the best footage, the footage of literally the best parts where it was not you know me being timid and trying to understand how to grab these fish but literally full-on Steve Irwin wrestling these you know fish it was just the coolest thing everyone so we made it back my GoPro dive and honestly we didn't even capture the majority of the fish we had a total of 17 today that was a record if right. I'm not mistaken for, for the summer, year yeah. it was crazy there's like there's so many fish Guys, adrenaline rush. I cannot thank them enough here, guys. Huge thanks again to Nate. We had River. We got Fierce. Thank you all so much for uh, taking me out. You guys are truly professional. And seriously, it is marvels to see, you know, in two gentlemen this young just crushing it. Crazy, crazy. So, like I said, be sure to check them out. All their info is down below. If you ever want to go noodling, my, my, my true recommendation. I can't believe, like, literally, it was 17 fish. It was absolutely nuts. But yeah, like I said, you saw what, 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 what the GoPro battery lasted. It was phenomenal. I can't say enough. Super cool experience. And uh, that, guys, like I said, thank you so much. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. And yeah, uh, yeah until next time, because I'm definitely going to have to come back. But uh, yeah, it's a hot day, so let's get out of the sun. And like I said, guys, check them out. Huge thanks to them. Oklahoma. Do some cool stuff. Until next time. Have a lovely day.